So our, all right, so our first stop today, we just got to Myrtle Beach. We're gonna be here for a few days. This is, in our opinion, our humble opinion, the very best seafood buffet in all of Myrtle Beach. This is called Pirate's Table Calabash Seafood Buffet. Um, the reason we do love this place is because they have a, uh, a great selection of food. Again, if you like crab legs and scallops, this is the place to be. Really love this place. So as you walk in, there's the two pirates on the outside. All right, and so you walk through the front door and check this out. I love the vibe in here. The vibe in here is really cool. Um, this is the better uh, places around here are gonna kind of do it up. They've got the nice decor. Um, the buffet tables do have these nice, uh, the, the nice theming with the, uh, the, the the ships, the pirate ships. And if you turn over here, they've got a really cool display where you can actually meet mermaids. See that? This is awesome. And they'll have live mermaids coming here and you can meet them. Your kids can take pictures with them. It's a really great experience. But again, the reason we come here mainly is because of the scallops um, and of course the crab legs. The crab legs here are phenomenal. So we're gonna check this out here in just a minute. I'll show you all the goods. But yeah, this is an expansive buffet table, which we'll, uh, we'll show you all the goods here in just a moment. And everyone here is dressed up in their, their pirate gear. All right, so here's a look at the buffet. So over here we have the entree section. And here's the shrimp, the crab meat. Here we have raw oysters, crawfish, your variety of sauces, the baked salmon, there's your crab imperial. Here's some more crawfish, spicy garlic green mussels, fried oysters, crab cakes, fried catfish, fried shrimp, fried flounder, here's your deviled crab, stuffed mushrooms, and over here we have steamed oysters, steamed clams. Now here's where it gets really good. The crab legs with this big giant thing of melted butter. So you've got two things of crab legs typically, and you can just absolutely load up on the crab legs here. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, I would open it up, but right now I'm just filming. I've been approved to film. We do have to wait for the server in order to do the, uh, in order to actually put our hands on it. But just to show you here, we've got some, uh, some sides, some typical American sides, like the baked potatoes. We've got red skin potatoes, red skin potatoes, uh, gravy, carrots. We got green beans, chicken marsala. Here's some macaroni and cheese. So this is a good place to get some sides. And over here, we have marinara sauce, cheese sticks, chicken nuggets, french fries, onion rings, Italian peppers, or I'm sorry, Italian sausage with peppers and onions. There's some fried okra there in the back. We have some barbecue ribs, some fried chicken over here. Um, we've got corn on the cob. And we've got a nice selection of buffalo wings. These buffalo wings are big and juicy. There's also some stuffed shells, which looks kind of like a, like a manicotti, an Italian dish. And on the very end, we have hush puppies. And right beside the hush puppies, you've got butter, honey butter. On the other side here, you've got dessert, you've got your pecan pie, you've got your French twirls, coconut cake, strawberry shortcake, Boston cream. So you got a really nice selection of desserts here. And then we've got these chocolate covered strawberries, seven layer cookie bars. Look at that. Wow, these look amazing. Key lime pie, banana pudding, chocolate pudding, 
sensational cheesecake. Wow. So they've got a lot of new desserts on tap. A lot different from the last time we've been here. Again, this is one of our favorite places. We do come here a lot. This is actually our favorite seafood buffet in Myrtle Beach. Over here we have the carving station. So you've got some uh, roast beef, some shaved roast beef with your sides of horseradish. Here's some soup if you want stuff like sea, sea crab, sea crab soup, au jus, clam chowder. That's all here. See that? And then you've got the salads. So you can make yourself a nice salad right here. And that's pretty much it. So one thing I did notice is that I do not see the scallops that I normally get. Usually they've got big chunky scallops here and I do not see them today. So I am a little uh, thrown off by that, but I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh, to roll with the punches and uh, make something happen here. Try to enjoy this. I'm pretty sure I will too though. Oh, I'm sorry. And again, here's another look. at the, uh, the full buffet area. So over here is the salads towards the front on the left. And then beyond that, on the left, you've got the desserts. And over here is just all the food they have to offer. All right, so we got like these giant plates of crab legs. And over here, we got some fried oysters, some roast beef and more crab legs. Unfortunately, they do not have what I come here for, which is the scallops, but whatever. We'll just mention to the waitress. I'm, I'm really not happy with this, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it happen. We'll make do. Hey, right, Lola, what is your favorite dessert that you had here? The, the French twist. The French twist? What, what was yours, Stella? Stella, what was your favorite? <laughs> Stella. <laughs> All right, and when you're finished with your food, there's a nice little gift shop here. All kinds of mermaid stuff, dolls, some t-shirts, souvenirs. And here we have some cups. This place has a pretty, pretty uh, decent crowd right now for being a Monday. Mommy, I need that eat. Here's some cheesy shirts. All right. And uh, hopefully we're going to be moving on here. feeling absolutely horrible from the dinner that I just had at the pirate's table. That was just a bit too much and hopefully we won't be doing any more seafood buffets for the rest of this trip. I, I'm absolutely wrecked right now. This is just absolutely, this is horrible. Uh, here is the uh, human hamster wheels. I think I have a video of Lola and Stella doing these from a year or two ago. And in the background, you can see some rides over there in the distance. Water rollers, the official ride of this summer. So we're working our way over to Wet Willys where we're going to have some drinks. Fidget toys. 
and I'm just feeling absolutely horrible right now. <laughs> There's a water fountain up ahead. We're right by Rooster's Restaurant and Bar. And shortly beyond this waterfall, we're going to be at our destination, Wet Willies, which is an amazing daiquiri bar, the best daiquiri bar on the planet, in my opinion. Check that out there. Really cool little uh, waterfall. Yeah, and for the waterfall, there's this nice uh, screen here. This is the American Tap House. Right across from that, we've got the Hard Rock Cafe. But oh, look at this. They're doing ads for like medieval times. Kind of reminds me of like Times Square, but at the beach and with less people. There is another Daffy place that Tuesday, which I'm more of a Wet Willys fan. I think Wet Willys is like the, uh, the Holy Grail of Daffy spots. Way better than Fat Tuesday, in my opinion. There's Senior Frogs. Over here is Charlie's Restaurant and Bar. Nothing's better than walking into a uh, seafood buffet at Myrtle Beach on an empty stomach. And nothing's worse than walking out of the seafood buffet with a full stomach. An overly full stomach. It is a horrible feeling. There we go. Wet willies. Go in here and get some daiquiris. Right across from Wet Willies, we've got ice cream and candy. Alright, so we're gonna take a uh, little stroll into Wet Willies. And here we go. Look at this. Look at all these slushies. All of these nice adult slushies. You can actually mix these up. What we get is what's called a grain train. The grain train is a mix of their strongest uh, flavors, and it will absolutely wreck you. I'm gonna try to get a couple of the uh, the grain trains. Just a giant selection of uh, of daiquiris here. It's like, it's like it goes on forever here. 
I love the uh, the decor. It's a really cool looking place. Really cool place all together. The drinks are amazing. And again, be careful. They are really strong. They will put you on your butt. Here's some merch. And it's really cool once you get a, a, a mixed drink here, how they mix everything up and how the swirls look. All the flavors look swirl together. And they do have some really good uh, bar food like nachos and chicken fingers, things like that. Just your uh, typical bar food. So we're gonna grab a drink and we'll be right back here. Hey, how are you? All right, so we now have our drinks. And we are going to walk out to the back, through the back door, where they have this really cool patio setting. And over here you could see the giant uh, Ferris wheel. And there's the Wonderworks upside down house. And there's the fan. We got some people on zip lines over here. So Ginger and I each got the green train. So we're gonna take a closer look at that. Over here is Ginger's. That is the green train. That's our go-to for wet willies, and it will uh, it will send you to the moon for sure. Just look at that Ferris wheel. How cool does that look? Almost like a tie-dye, but in motion. Very cool. This is how I know I'm at Myrtle Beach. Where we're sitting down here on this patio area, enjoying a, uh, a wet willies. There's nothing like it. Alright, and another thing I love about this patio area back here are these TVs that are outside and they're kind of like recessed into the wall. And you can sit out here and watch TV. Not that I do. I'm just like listening to music and getting drunk here, man. Because I'm just entranced by this Ferris wheel. 
And look, man, we're just putting them away. I'm on my second round. And Ginger gave me the rest of hers. That thing is spinning 360. That is unbelievable. That looks so fun. And what's really cool is how it's lit up. You can hear the people screaming from here. But I love how it's not only lit up, but the lights are moving on this thing. I don't know if you can see it from here. Maybe if I zoomed in. Let's try to zoom in. See if you can see that. That's just wild, man. This is a great time here. Just hang out. Enjoy your green trains from Wet Willies. Of course, I'm in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and they closed our Wet Willies due to COVID last year, which sucks so bad. But this is why we come to Myrtle Beach. Oh my god, look at this smiley face. That is cool. Oh. Lola, this is the, do the song you danced to at your first recital that you actually did well. Which was your second recital. Did I actually did well? Yeah, which was your second recital. Did I actually Yeah. Because your first recital you didn't dance at all, you just stood there. But your second one, you were just amazing. Oh, it's Pac-Man, dude. Oh, this is awesome. I saw Pac-Man on this thing, man. I love that smiley face. That is just too awesome. <laughs> All right. I am absolutely hammered right now. And we are going into this ice cream candy place. And I don't even know if this place is open. They're mopping the floors. It's open. It's open, so we're gonna go into this place. And I hope I don't get kicked out because I just drink. Oh, it's locked. Well, we'll take a look inside anyway. Look at all that candy. Woo. Ooh, look at all that. Looks like in the back they have ice cream and stuff. Isn't that cool? Wow. And it's a matter of paperwork. Yeah, and I said she's cheap. You can't like you can't be a breeder and expect to get the best. King Kong Sushi. That's a pretty cool place, man. I can't even walk. I'm so hammered, dude. <laughs> All right, so here is just a very brief walkthrough of the room that we got, uh, which has a full kitchen, which I'm excited about. I love having my own freezer, my own refrigerator. Here's the little living room area. Um, nothing too fancy, just very... Uh, very practical and gives us a lot of space. 
and um, and you actually have some really nice views of the beach from here. We've got two balconies. Nice view of Myrtle Beach. Looks like a rainforest, kind of. And there's our view of the beach. And here is the other balcony that we have. This one's a bit smaller, but it does give you a much better view of the beach. Plus you have a view of these two hot tubs and the rooftop pool, which are kind of directly adjacent to us. And our next stop here is River City Cafe, which was one of the more interesting burger restaurants that we found in the area. So we're gonna go check this out. Here's a view of the patio. And this place is on a wait on a Tuesday afternoon. They are on a wait. So I take it this place has got something good going on. Here's a look at the menu. There's some of their uh, beach favorite platters, world famous burgers, traditional burgers, specialty burgers. Um, personally, I think we, we, we checked out the menu. Uh, we were looking at the um, it's kind of the nacho crunch burger. It's got topped with Doritos, jalapenos, pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, onion, guacamole, spicy chipotle mayo. We might also do a different burger here. There's their appetizers. The kitchen sink burger platter. I think we might do that. Just take a look at how massive that is. So I think we're gonna do this kitchen sink burger platter just for show, just to show you, because that just looks wild. Meatloaf burgers, I'm not a fan of meatloaf. Maybe I like them just because they probably do it differently, but um, yeah, here we go. And just check out all the license plates. That's pretty wild. There's a view of the sign, River City Cafe. It's all about the burger and it's got R-V-R-C-I-T-Y, like a license plate. All right, so we just got, we just got seated at our table and they've got our menus nicely laid out. This uh, nice little, uh, sheet of paper I guess where you can make a big mess and color they have crayons for the kids and they even started us off with a little thing of peanuts so we're gonna go ahead and get our food ordered and we'll uh, check back with you shortly all right and we are taking a look at some of these license plates this is my favorite one here so far the Virginia one Truman reptiles one awesome Here's one for Butch from Cooking with Crazy Pop and Hanging with the Crazy Crew. Scooby. All right, so this is the, what is it, the Crunchy Nacho Burger? But we subbed out, we subbed out the um, Pepper Jack cheese, I think, that, that came with it. And we, we asked for Pimento cheese. So this looks amazing, look at that. Check out all that pimento cheese just oozing off the back of it. Over here is the kitchen sink burger. So this is a double patty and you've got all this cheese and it's served between two grilled cheese sandwiches. Check that out. This thing is just massive and it's topped with two big onion rings. Look at that, just look at the size of that thing. That is just massive. I don't know how we're gonna eat that, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. Dad, can you order three burgers now?
Okay, here's a look at the inside of the burger. See the guacamole. Uh, we've got the, looks like onions. Um, the pimento cheese is there on the top. And just take a look at that. The tomato. Just take a look at that. Okay. Alright, so we have water, two house pina coladas, two frozen virgin strawberries for the girls, <laughs> the kitchen sink burger, nacho burger, sub pimento cheese, and two kids cheeseburgers. And the total came out to $70.35. We are right by the 810 or 810 billiards and bowling. The market comments. The market commons, and here's the crazy Mason milkshake bar, which was a must do for the kids. Um, they actually are opening one of these in Gatlinburg, which we're really excited about. We love some funky milkshakes. So we're gonna check this out. We're gonna get the girls a milkshake. Oh my God, there you go. See that? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my God. These are really good looking milkshakes. Ice cream sandwich, baby. Look at that. Just milkshakes. Oh, dude. Yeah. So you can build your own ice cream sandwich. Look at all these awesome milkshakes they have here. So, I mean, if you look right here, build your own crazy bomb ice cream sandwich, homemade, our, on our huge homemade chocolate chip cookie. Sorry, I'm drunk as shit right now. So, if I'm not reading things as well as I should, but yeah, there you go. I'm not even gonna bother to read it because I am sloshed right now. And I guess we could play bowling here. <laughs> You wanna play bowling? I wanna play bowling. You wanna play bowling? Billiards and bowling. Billiards and bowling, man. Look at that, dude. If you you wanna see me play bowling. You wanna bowl? Look how flush it is. I'll smoke a bowl. <laughs> Look at that. Look how flush it is. Oh yeah. That's awesome, man. Lights and all kinds of stuff there. It's very cool. Oh, see, build me a buttercup. Here's the, you gotta be putting me. And I'd rather be a mermaid. Check out the menu here. All right, so we're gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna go one at a time because this is a lot. So you can see it. If, if you want to take a closer look, you may want to pause the video. But uh, that's just part of their menu. And it looks like I'm not gonna have a say over what milkshakes we get today. And that's fine. I'm so drunk right now, I'm probably not even going to be able to notice the difference from one to the other. Although the mint to me, I like mint. I love anything mint. I love chocolate mint. I love Christmas because it's like the minty season. I like mint, so the Can mint. The chocolate chip, the mint to be, dude. Mint to be. I can eat mint. I don't like mint. I like everything you don't like. Uh. Um. Oh, and look, we just noticed this. After we ordered the cannoli one, the sweet cheeses, which is like a strawberry cheesecake one. That looks great. Here's top of the morning with fruity pebbles and a pop tart. Sweet cookie dream. The cow jumped over the moon and they do exist. And my daughter is pissed right now because she didn't get that one. But I don't know if you can make anyone happy here because there's just so much good stuff. Everything here looks just so amazing. So all you folks in Gatlinburg, just get ready, man. 
And so I will say this, the only thing that could really make this experience better is if they spike the milkshakes. She's amazing. She's like a like a really cool bartender, but she does the shake. She reminds me of the dude from Cocktail. She's badass. Beautiful. Thank you. Is this ours, honey? All right. All right. This is ours. Ooh, look at that. Good lord. Which one's ours, honey? What do you think? Oh man, that's a bar. And there's like bowling pins up here, dude. Are you, are you able to drink out of these things? Oh, we're gonna get lit tonight, man. What are these, dude? Ego to dig in than we are. Um, look at that. You've got a little cupcake with a lollipop sticking out of it hanging off to the side. This is actual like icing. So she, she like uh, squirted out one of those icing things. <laughs> I'm so drunk right now. My vocabulary is like limited. And so is everything else. But uh, yeah, that's it. Check that out. That is just freaking beautiful. Work of, of milkshake art right oh, there, nice. and then we've got the can cannoli milkshake. Oh, you. See, this comes complete with a cookie, a cannoli. Look at that! There you go. The crazy Mason. Look at the shade chocolate right here. Oh man, look at the texture on that. That just looks amazing. So we're gonna zoom out, take a look at both of these shakes. How do you like that, Lola, Stella? <laughs> it's like, leave me alone and let me eat it. <laughs> All right. Can you what? Stop? What? I'm trying to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got a little correction here. So this is actually whipped cream. I thought this was icing because she was using one of those uh, pastry bags. I feel bad. So it looked like icing, but it's actually whipped cream, which is fine. That's cool. Personally, I'd prefer something like icing. Um, but anyway, yeah, this still looks good. Again, this is the cannoli milkshake from uh, Crazy Mason. Alright, let's do this. See how they have that big cookie there? Oh, nice. We're gonna have to um, take it off and put the cookie and the cannoli there because I can't get to it. That's the fine. Room. Oh man, let's see that. Woo! Looks like the moon. Awesome. So, over here, around our room, we've got chocolate shavings with whipped cream, but they've got sprinkles with like freaking cake icing. That's amazing. Oh, and Ginger just went in. Ginger just went in on that. That's actual like icing, dude. How is that, honey? That Good. Oh, man. What is, what is on ours? It's like buttercream icing, isn't it? No, it's like, it's just whipped cream, dude. This is not whipped cream. Oh, it's buttercream? I don't like buttercream. No, 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 it's not buttercream. That's whipped, whipped, whipped. It's whipped cream. It's whipped cream. It's yummy. I like the buttercream. That's whipped cream. No, dude, it's whipped, whatever it is. I'm sure we can tell on the menu, but. Yeah. And one of the really cool things about the Crazy Mason is they have this wash station, the wash station at the Crazy Mason, Crazy Mason, where you can 
wash out your jars and put them in a bag and take them home. They're like real glass mason jars. You just wash them out here, dry them off, they give you cloths, they give you bags, they give you a sink to wash everything out. Take your uh, crazy mason jars home and enjoy. You got a free souvenir. Awesome. Cool stuff here. So here we have a wall of games and you can sit here. There's a bar in the background. And if you're into board games, all these board games are on deck for you to pick which one and you just take it to the front desk and they'll give you the pieces. While you have a drink, have dinner, milkshake. Say hi. They have games over here. They have uh, black light golf. My kids are like dying to do this. I might need a drink myself to get on Danny's level. Um, but it's a good alternative. We love to play putt putt in the beach, but it's just so hot. So this is a really cool thing. You have milkshakes and drinks and board games and bowling on the other side. It's really, really cool here. Get your leg down. You're live. arcade area. So tons of things to do at this billiards and bowling where the Crazy Mason is located inside of. Really, really cool thing to do in Myrtle Beach. The weather's bad, it's too hot outside, or whatever. Just one. Okay, that's fine. That. Want some water on side? Yes, please. Sprite, right. right. so, tea, Coke, what do you want? And uh, Ginger's already broke out the sake. Oh, man. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> and we start off with the avocado salad. Alright, so we have this shrimp thing. I forgot the name of it already. Shumai. Shumai. Shrimp shumai. Okay, and over here we have crab rangoon. All that nice melted uh, cheese in the middle. And we got some hibachi. So this is the hibachi steak with vegetables. This is either the and this is the hibachi shrimp with vegetables and the teriyaki shrimp with vegetables. We're running out of table space here, but our sushi should be here shortly, and uh, we'll uh, show that when it gets here. Let me make sure I like it. Maybe All I'll right, and here we have the Philly rolls. This, I believe, is their Christmas roll. There's the inside of the Christmas roll. And then the other one, I believe, is their orchard roll. There is the inside of an orchard roll. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry, we forgot to get ginger. Yes, I am. Ginger. This is the orchard roll and um, Hollywood roll. Orchard and Hollywood, all right. We've already seen the inside of the 
some Orchard. cucumber and crab. Okay. Topped with tuna and avocado, I believe. Cool. It is nice out here though. to the most awesome people. They are here having a good time. Yeah! What's up? Yes! Woo! Yeah! And they, they know how to have a good time. And that's what we're all about. Yes! Check out my people over there. That is so awesome. I love it. Woo! Yeah! Oh my God, that is beautiful, man. So here's the view from the front of our hotel, which is pretty cool. You can see a lot from here. It's awesome. I'm really drunk now, so I'm not paying attention to how well I'm shooting, but there you go. Here are my green trains at Wet Willies, anyway. Right, well, well, he's eating cotton candy and getting drunk. It's, it's awesome, man. What, what do you have here? What you think? Is this gummy Chinese food? Yeah. It's candy noodles. Let me see this. It is candy. It is um, candy noodles with baby. What is it? Candy shrimps. Yeah. Candy shrimps, candy eggs, candy vegetables, and candy popping. Okay, I got a marshmallow. Is it like a peep? Probably. It happens to be on our own channel. Yeah, <laughs> Is it like a peep? It's stale. It's stale? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try this. Hey! That was for a review. What are you doing? Oh, there's an egg in there. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, my God. All right, all right we're, we're getting ready to get out of here. Wow, it is bike week and feel the energy here. This place is just off the rocker, man. We're at the Beach House Bar and Grill. And the energy here is just amazing, man. These people are awesome. Lots of high fives, lots of nice people. This is such an awesome experience. All right, so we're gonna go here and check out New York Pizza Kitchen. New York Pizza, New York style, by the slice. This place looks incredible. So we're gonna check this out here. New York Pizza Kitchen in downtown Gatlinburg. I mean, I'm sorry, in downtown Myrtle Beach. Right across from the Mirror Maids and Ripley's Haunted Adventure. All right, so we're at New York Pizza Kitchen in downtown Myrtle Beach on the Strip. 
I've got my man here. They're serving up some great pizzas. How's it going, my friend? You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And we're gonna check out the pizza that they just made for us. Check this out. These pizzas are giant. They are awesome. And the best thing about this is they're open late. And check this out. We just got some pizzas for the fam. Look at that. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna indulge in some pizzas here. They even have beer. So we got a couple red stripes that we're gonna enjoy while we uh, take down these pizzas here. So yeah, a big shout out to um, New York Pizza. Appreciate it. On the it. strip, baby. Mola is enjoying the party and atmosphere. Enjoying the party atmosphere. Like, these people are so cool. Yes, oh, they are. They are music. amazing, and amazing geez. people. All right, I just can't get over how amazing this pizza is, how amazing the service is. Um, so yeah, New York Pizza on the, uh, the strip of Myrtle Beach. This is just unreal, man. Yep. video right here is for one of my favorite pages on YouTube. I'm sorry, one of my favorite pages on Twitter, run by one of my favorite people, and that is Randy Orton's Source. You're awesome. This is your spot, man. When you were a kid, you would come here and hang out, and that is the coolest thing ever, man. So, uh, unfortunately, they're closed right now, but man, I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you. And we uh, we got what we could out of this. This was your spot when you were a kid, man. How do you like that? Oh, yeah. Awesome, huh? Very cool. And here you go again, the Easy Eats Cafe. This takes you back into the arcade. There's the water slide park in the back. There's some funnel cakes, some really good food here. Hot dogs, gyros, wings, chicken sandwiches, ice cream. Burgers, fries, and snacks. And uh, man, I would love to to bring you back here one day. Honestly, I would love for you to come down here and uh, come back for this one day. That would be the coolest thing ever. Cotton candy. How cool is that, man? That's for you, my brother. Play ski ball. I know you love ski ball, man, so I'm not sure if this is where you would play. Let's take a look back here. There's some ski ball right down there, man. There you go. They're closed, unfortunately. We stopped and got pizza and we kind of missed the boat on this deal. But uh, here you go, man. They have a halo. Fire Team Raven, check that out. And more ski ball back here. I know you mentioned ski ball. This might have been your jam right here, man. There you go. And again, man, we'd love to have you down here having fun. You see on the back there where it's a ski ball. If you look down, there's some of the ski ball alleys. This, this, this is all you, man. And now they got rabbits. Hollywood. Awesome. There you go, man. Hope this brings back some great memories for you, my friend. And I'm seeing dudes in yellow shirts everywhere we go here, so I'm not sure if this is all connected. It might be. Here's this family fun center. There's some more, it looks like ski ball. I'm not sure. Just wanna make sure we catch where you used to be. Where you used to hang out. But there you go, man. Another spot. There you go. Here's some more uh, Lane Master ski ball stuff. All right, and here is. The Ferris wheel, with no lights, just the Ferris wheel. 
That's pretty awesome. These things are huge and they're amazing. <laughs> How do you feel right now? <laughs> Just what you want to do after like three days of drinking heavy, huh? I need a drink right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man oh man Sick right now, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, she's gonna puke. Oh, she's gonna puke. I know she is. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's that's. Oh god, dude. That sucks. Oh man. Oh man. Oh god. Yeah. No, thank you. Getting in my eye and just killing me, man. Speed XXL. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feel, Lola? Yeah, I could imagine.
You didn't wear your hat out here, did you? No. Okay. It's sugar. There you have it. Wet Willies, day four, four days in a row. Wet Willies, man, that's uh, that's bad news. Here's an interesting place called Riptides, but unfortunately, Ginger has really bad anxiety, and so she cannot uh, bring herself to go eat anywhere today. She's in a rush to go home. But this does look like a pretty cool spot with the rooftop and everything. Good, how are you? Alright, I'm your host, Mark Davey. Alrighty. Alright, so our next stop is No Moves. Where would you like Beachfront restaurant. She like She does not want to be outside, she said. Alright, so no moves. There's a pretty good selection of starters, salads, tacos. Kids menu. All right. In the back, 
They've got burgers, grilled food, seafood, beach favorites, premium sides. All right, so Mo Moon has a fabulous drink menu. Ooh, I had an idea. What's your idea? We've got the love potion. Oh my, God, that was oh my lord! And here are our nachos. Sour cream. Sour cream. Pineapple salsa. Wow, that looks good. And here is our love potion. Uh, they ran out of fish bowls, so we're just drinking the buckets today with the shots and. Um, so, so far this is great, but just take a look at all these great drinks that they have here. Like, this is a place to go. Um, the liquid marijuana, that looks great. Unfortunately, they're out of the fish bowls today, but we can still get the drinks with these nice little buckets here. Ginger got a nice side uh, salad. It's a Can we order a wings? Can you take a picture? Um, we'll be good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you're going on. I think you're going And I've got the shirt po' boy. <laughs> with uh, fries. And Lola's got some fries too. She was sitting yeah. her wings. It says like six <laughs> okay? All right. I'll let you know, I'll text you So this is the, uh, the food. And over here we have liquid marijuana. This will be interesting. And a peanut butter and jelly shooter. Yeah, we're gonna be real busy. He might not get it up for a few days, but yeah. By we'll this time next week, yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, that'd be awesome. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Lots of fun. This is a great experience. We are currently on the hunt for the area where the seagulls are. Looks like this prank is not going to go well. Because we can't find any birds. But he's got his chip out in hand. See there? That left hand. And he's got his goggles on, but there are no seagulls we found. Well, the seagull stun is a bust. Um, we went looking for seagulls, couldn't find them. So we're gonna try for this at a later date. Uh, we will be going down to Florida. I'm sure we'll be making a couple more beach trips uh, later this year, but it just wasn't happening today. We looked everywhere for seagulls. We saw a few pigeons, no seagulls. None, not enough to really get this going. All right, and here is the new Funplex, which we do not have time to do on this trip. But anyways, we were able to drive by and kind of uh, give you a from the road view of the Funplex, the new roller coaster that they have, if you want to call it that. Let's drive back to check out. So from the outside, this is the Funplex, and again, um, we're not doing the Funplex today. Quite small. Yeah. A few little rides. A few little rides, yeah, it's like a, uh, it kind of just reminds you of like a fair, like the Cabarrus County Fair, something like that, and there are the carts. So as you can see, they have the uh, the sit-down carts. They got the sorry, 
three carts where you could sit down and enjoy the ride around. And then, like, I guess there's four seats, two carts, the little wheel carts. Yeah, the hamster wheel thing. We are going to be, like, spinning around and getting nauseated. Nothing we were dying to do. Yeah, I'm just not interested. Yeah. Like, like real rides. It doesn't look thrilling. It doesn't look like, uh, you know, you're going to get the... We kept forgetting about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this just isn't really my cup of tea here. But, I mean, I wish this place the best. Uh, not something that I'm going to go out of my way to do. I might come back here later in the year to give a more in-depth view of this. But just wasn't the time. Wasn't really interested in it. I see that I was mildly interested in is the roller coaster because of the way the seats you're in a hamster wheel yeah. and it looks kind of nauseating and not really that thrilling but a lot of things I ride I think they look like they're gonna make me sick and it's fun so maybe it's fun but it's um doesn't look really that thrilling the ship over there looks like our friend Zoid or what's it's a It just reminds me of a uh, of a fair, you know, of like a county fair type deal. More than like an actual like amusement park or theme park. I guess you can. Yeah, that's like a fun toy. It's one of the yeah, like yeah. I'm and sure I that's those. fun. Those are terrifying. Yeah. It's thrilling. <laughs> you hear people screaming. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's something to do. You're at the beach. It's something to do. And walking by, we weren't in this area a whole lot, so that was kind of part of the problem. Is we were. Down here, yeah. We came down here to have dinner by the beach before we headed out, and we we're like, Oh, yeah, the fun flex. <laughs> yeah, that. the fun flex. The day we were gonna do it, new was at like four o'clock, and we were gonna head out here at like four fifteen. So, yeah, just uh, wasn't meant to happen this go around. And I mean, it looks cool, but I mean, personally, it's not something that I would really want to do but that's just me um i think they're gonna do really well here i think they've got a lot of cool stuff um uh, it's just you know what I, not my idea of a good time but um you know it's it's gonna be fun for a lot of people a lot of people are gonna love it and i think that place is gonna do awesome yeah and, uh, i mean it's in a high traffic area tons of people walking by so I, I definitely wish them the best, yeah. There. Yeah, we like, weren't you know. there in time. Like, the timing didn't match up, and the desire, you know, it wasn't at the top of our list. We had to go back to Broadway at the beach to do the XXL, 16 yeah. story drop tower. That's yeah, not a drop tower. What is that? This, I, I don't know what you call it, drop tower, but it's called Speed XXL. Okay, yeah. Speed XXL is not a drop tower, but yeah, it is a big ride that rotates you around. We've got a video of that, but it's, it's not a drop tower. Yeah. We've got a video on that. I've got the video on that, so I mean, yeah. So yeah, and that will probably be in the video we're talking about. But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, the Funplex, I wish them the best. Uh, it's just... Personally, it's it's not my cup of tea, uh, but that that is no disrespect and no shade thrown at the Funplex whatsoever. Everybody's got their idea of a good time, and um, and I I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that place. It's a great uh, addition to have here in Myrtle Beach. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, everybody.